Hello viewers. In this video, I will explain how to obtain a stem and leaf plot in SPSS. So for that purpose, I have created a variable with the name marks, which is of numeric type. Go to data view and you can see this variable has been created. Now randomly, I'm going to type here marks which are obtained by some students in the subject of statistics. So for example, the first student has obtained 56 marks. Similarly, say 92 marks. And then I just keep entering the marks of some students. So 89, 47, 56, 23, 19, 74, 96, 82, 68, 93, and 56, 36, 47, 59, 98, 32, 56, and say 83. So there are 20 student, students whose marks I have included in the column of marks. Now, in order to get the stem and leaf plot, go to Analyze tape, click on Descriptive Statistics, and then choose Explore. This variable marks and statistics you have to move it to the right hand side under the box of dependent list click on the option plots and you can see that by default stem and leaf is selected continue and i would like to see the plots so that is why i'm going to choose here the option of plots rather than both statistics and plots click on ok button and now you can see that along with the stem and leaf plot you have a case processing summary that shows that all the 20 observations are included i mean 100 percent observations or data points are included in our uh, in our plot and also in the column of marks that we entered in the data view now here how we can interpret this type of stem and leaf plot. You can see under the stem, one is written in the first row and under the column of leaf, the one, nine is written. So you can see here stem width, which is 10. It means that this number under the column of stem is at the 10th position. So this number is basically 10 and you have to add the digit of leaf here, which is nine in the first row. So 19, 10 plus 9 is 19. So 19 appears once. So that is why you, are, you have a frequency of 1 here. Similarly, 23, third row, 32, 36. So there are two digits under the column of leaf, third row. So that is why the frequency is 2. Now, if I go to the data view and right click the name marks and then sort ascending you can confirm what we had seen in the stem and leaf plot so you can see here 1919 appears once same is same can be seen from here and now for example here in the fifth row you can see that 56 seems to appear four times so i, I can confirm it from here 56 at the seventh position, at the eighth position, ninth position, and as well as at the tenth position. So this number 56 appears four times. So that is why six appears four times here. And then you have 59. So there are total five observations. So we have frequency of five here. Now, in the same way, one can interpret rest of the numbers under this stem and leaf plot. Now, it is interesting to note that we call it a stem and leaf plot. However, it appears like a tabular kind of tabular kind of information. So, this is what is all about stem and leaf plot. If I just scroll down, then I can see the box and whisker plot of our data set. So you can see here the lowest marks of the student are 19 and the highest marks are 98. This line is set to be first quartile, this is second quartile and this is the third quartile. So box and whisker plot is also an interesting plot which helps us to detect the outliers in our data set if such an outlier 
is present in the data set. Here we do not have any kind of outlier in this data set. So that's it. This is all about the stem and leaf plot in SPSS. Thank you for watching.